For me, Akira, it's one of those things that's kind of hard to really describe. There's something about having a piece of something that's been fried. It's crispy. It's golden. It has a certain mouthfeel. And it's just downright irresistible. I love Akira. I think the first time I ate... I can't remember the first time I had, like, street-bought Akara. Um... Well, and the last time was a few weeks ago in my office. It's a tradition. People typically would, every, someone would sponsor and then a guy in my office would get akara with pepper sauce and one more and fried yam, sweet potatoes, just a whole thing. But, but I never find, I very rarely find street made akara to my liking. I guess because I've grown up having a particular style of akara. That even when my friends make it, I still prefer my own akara. I'd say one of the first times I had akara, I didn't really like it because at the time I didn't really like beans. But later on, as I started to eat more and more beans, akara became one of those things that I never really had, but when I did, I ate a lot of it. I think the process of prepping beans from is what puts me off. Even though when I think about it, it's not that long a process. Mm. But I always, um, I used to get a lot of flatulence from eating beans. But then I learned about soaking and then, you know, cooking. Mm -hmm. And it works. But I always, I, I don't know, in my mind somewhere, beans is this ingredient that takes so long to cook. And I always feel as if I can't be bothered with that. But it's not true. It's just that that's, that's my perception. But um, I've also read from a few Nigerian bloggers who have done tests of using beans like soaked and peeled and compared with soaked and unpeeled. And they, apparently there's no, there's very little difference. In fact, some people say that they prefer the, prefer recipes like akara and moi moi with unpeeled beans that it's slightly fluffier. Only recently had I discovered the African burger where you'd take some pieces of akara and put them inside of a piece of agege bread or any kind of bread for that matter. And then you eat it like a sandwich. I'd even liken it to a bean burger of some sort. And then that was, I would say, the inspiration for playing around with beans and playing around with Nigerian food in general. You know, when I talk about this street food thing, sometimes I get some eyebrows and sometimes people are a little surprised and they don't really understand why. But then when I show pictures, they kind of get it, but still it's this surprise of, but why? I don't like big akara. Because I think that it, there's, there's some, the, 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 fil, the um, inner portion to outer portion ratio is so I, I like I like that a bit of cream on the inside but the outer crunch but I don't actually I don't want too much of that cream I find it sickening even if it has lots of pepper to kind of cut that cut through the richness but I prefer smaller bowls of akara so and then also mine usually would have the edges and one thing I learned growing up was that um was not to fry my akara batter too, not not to blend it too smooth. Yeah. You know how sometimes you have bread that doesn't have any holes. So that's that's what I would like into akara that is smoothly blended. It's it's, it's just dense, whereas the one that's not as um, finely blended is, has a bit more holes. I, I, that's the only way I can describe it now. But it, it's much lighter. I when I see akara for the first time, what I think about is crunch and crisp, and heats. You know, the steam just breaks out of the pockets, and it warms your mouth, and it starts to melt with all that grease. And then my next thought is bread. Soft, nice bread. Bread. <laughs> I don't know if that's an appropriate reaction, but bread. Um, I want, I want, I want, I want this as a filling... With a nice bread sauce, you know, nice soft bread. 
My mouth starts watering. <laughs> has started watering, actually. Yes. Um, I think I might actually have Akara today. Oh yeah. If I had to redesign Akara, I would one make sure that the little crispy bits or arrow are a staple. Like you can buy it on the side with any of your Akara desires. That crunchiness is better than it's better than crispy onions. It's better than crunch it's the best crunch ever. And the second thing I would do is make sure there are a lot of condiments. Because yes, although the bread on the akara is really nice, it'd be nice to have a sauce with it. It'd be nice to possibly have some crunchy veg with it. Or just some other things so that you can play around and have a more, I would say, complex overall bites. Like just the crunchy bit. So just be a, just only the crunch. Only like only the crunch. Only the crunch. So you could buy a cone of you could have sauces on it you can have hot sauce you can have a sweet sauce you, can, you know it just that like almost like popcorn akara that would that would be my that'd be my thinking I'm coming in a while. 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 I